Hey guys, welcome to another episode here on Batch TV. My name's Landry and I'm the community manager at Batch. In today's video, we're breaking down some tips to optimize your process when using both Batch Leads and Batch Dialer. And I'll bring up a couple updates that recently came out. Check this out. So it's incredibly important to keep track of your contacts, especially as you're pushing data to and from softwares and having conversations with people. If people scheduled appointments with you, if you closed a deal, if they said, don't ever call me again, whatever the case might be, you want your systems to work together. And that's what Batch Leads and Batch Dialer now do. So I'll show you the updated sync. And if you haven't done this yet, definitely do. It's worth it and it's super simple. And then I'll touch on a couple updates that we've made within Batch Leads as well. So starting in your Batch Leads account, we're gonna go over to our settings and you'll get there by clicking on your initials in the top right hand corner and then going down to my profile. And from there, you'll find integrations over here on the left. So three quick buttons to get over to this area and down at the bottom of the screen or somewhere here on this page, you'll find a Batch Dialer API credential section. All we have to do is go over to Batch Dialer and grab our API token. And then after that, we'll do the syncing or the mapping out. I'll show an example call here as well, how you push somebody over from Batch Leads to Batch Dialer, how easy it is to start making those calls. And if you haven't set some of your things up within your accounts, either one of these softwares, be sure to either drop comments down below, go to the Help Center, go to the B in Batch Leads or in Batch Dialer, talk to our team through chat with us and even go to what's new, you'll find the link to join the community uh, or even here in the description. But down in the section, we are going to make note that we need to go over to now our Batch Dialer account into a very similar section just by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner, go to your settings and then integrations on the left. So right here. So this is my Batch Dialer account now and we're going to go somewhere on our page wherever you might see it just depending on how zoomed in you are. I have it here down at the bottom. Click on integrate where it says Batch Leads Integration and it should take you to a page like this if you don't have it connected. If you see a page with mapping fields, leave that alone. We're gonna to come to that in a moment, but all you're gonna do is grab this key and paste it into Batch Leads. So back in your settings, back in integration, paste it right there in that bubble, and then just click the blue arrow off to the right to save it. And that's technically all you need to do to be able to start pushing people over from batch leads to batch dialer and start calling them. But the cool and important part is the syncing that comes after. So right after you connect those, all you're gonna do is go back through the same exact process in your batch dialer settings from the top. So from the very beginning, go into your settings, go to integrations, click on that button one more time. And you'll see something different now. And it's a mapping page. And this is the part that has been added in the past few months, where when you make a call within Batch Dialer, you're going to leave dispositions. And I'll show and explain all this in just a moment. And the system's basically allowing you to map out what you want to happen for you automatically without you doing anything in Batch Leads on those contacts. So with the Batch Dialer call results, what those are essentially is when you start making phone calls in Batch Dialer, this is an example call I just did uh, before this video just to have this up. When you end a call, whether you had a great call or not so great, whether they hung up on you or you ended it, you'll get a pop-up having the system ask you to leave a call result. It's just, what was the result of your call? Did they say, don't call me back? Did they say, yeah, let's set up an appointment and you want to push them to your CRM? Did they speak Spanish and you have a custom one to have somebody else reach out when they can? There's custom things you can do in here. You're going to see very different buttons from mine because I do have these set up in Batch Dialer. So don't worry too much about that right now. But all of these help categorize your contacts in Batch Dialer. They are so, so incredibly important. You can learn more about that on Batch TV or even in the Help Center community. But they all have rules on the back of them that help you kind of organize those within Batch Dialer. But the system is asking you that when you use one of these options or call results on a call on a person that you've pushed over from Batch Leads, what do you want to happen to that contact in Batch Leads? That's what this whole, that whole purpose of this mapping page is right here. So let's go through a couple examples. And then once again, I'll show you how to push those over, how to make the call, and then how it updates that contact in Batch Leads. 
So let's start with something that everybody would probably want to organize, which is do not call. Let's say that in Batch Dialer, we get on the phone with a contact and they said, don't ever call me back. Yes, you have the right number, but I don't want to hear from you ever again. Obviously, you probably don't want to call them again next week to check in. So there is a do not call one everybody should have. So the system saying if you mark somebody with this do not call button in Batch Dialer, what would you like to happen to that contact in Batch Leads? And it's going to categorize that in two different sections or areas the property lead status in batch leads and the property phone status that you actually had the conversation with and categorized. So let's just map this out. Let's say that we want to mark it as not interested in batch leads just for this example. And let's say we want the system to also mark the phone number status for us as DNC and batch leads. Once again, all done for you. You don't have to think about doing any of this stuff manually after you map it out. So how this would work just to break it down before showing an example is that if this contact was somebody we had previously pushed over from batch leads and they said don't call me i would mark them as do not call i would click done so i could move on with my other calls and my campaign but what would happen to that contact is that their lead status which is this right here this is in batch leads this is a lead status would change automatically and so with their phone number status, and it would change to whatever you selected here for the lead status and phone number status. So for me, I have not interested in DNC. That would mean that if it was this person that I had called and marked as do not call in batch dialer, that their lead status automatically would change to not interested. And their phone number status next to the phone number I had the conversation with would be automatically changed to DNC. You can always edit these statuses yourself and same thing with the lead statuses, but these two are so crucial because think about how much easier that is to be able to come in and filter out in batch leads. You can filter by the lead statuses and you can filter out all of the people that weren't interested that you talked to in batch dialer or all the people that you made an offer on or whatever the case might be. That's the power of having this system sync those little details for you to be able to pull those off to export them to opt them out in your account for future and to overall just avoid reaching out to them again or you know when you already talked to them essentially so take your time through this mapping area you're going to see different ones in me i have a lot of custom ones that you can create in your batch dialer call result settings so once again don't worry about that so much right now reach out in the community if you want some more ideas on how to get creative and and how to edit your rules because they're really really important and help a lot but let's do do not call as, as not interested in batch leads and dnc for the phone number status let's say that maybe our successful sale button this guy right here Anytime that we have a call and maybe we schedule an appointment or push them over to our CRM, maybe we want that to change to make an offer or let's do hot lead within batch leads and maybe we want the phone number status to change to verified because I want to be able to keep track of which phone numbers when I start reaching out to people said don't call me back that were verified and were the correct one like what if i needed to call this person back i easily have a note here that the system made for me that this is their correct and verified phone number so after you go through all of these mappings and you can always come back to this and decide later and add more categories i really only have a few set up like do not call i have successful sales connected to a couple things and wrong number this is a good one to have. I just have the phone number status changed to wrong number. I don't have a status left on it just because I don't want to categorize that entire property record if it's just the one wrong phone number. So there's little things you can tweak in here to optimize your process a little bit. After you finish that, make sure you apply the mapping to sync the data in batch leads at the bottom. There's a little box here and then click save. And we're going to go through an example. So let's go ahead and get out of this screen and we're going to go into before we push over those people from batch dialer or from batch leads into batch dialer. There's a few things to keep in mind. Things like you do need to have a campaign created. I'm going to show you a really easy way to not have to go through all the details to just make an empty campaign to prepare to push people over from batch leads. 
you need to have phone numbers so you can actually make the calls and you need to have contacts which we're going to get from batch leads there's so many other things you'll want to set up like a voicemail and your call results to take a look at those and others but go into the community let those questions or put those down in the comments and take your time as you're setting this stuff up because it can make a really really massive difference in your connection rates anyway before you push people over you need to have a campaign i'm going to show you a really easy way to just make one you're going to go into batch dialer you're going to go to campaigns in your menu click on new campaign you're going to decide the mode preview is the manual dialer one at a time predictive is the power dialer or multiple people or automatic dialer i'm going to do preview for this example select the agents whoever's going to make the calls if it's just you then select your own name attach your phone numbers make sure you have enough to cover the calls you're going to make in the day very very important so after you grab your phone numbers leave the contact list section empty because you're actually going to push the people over from batch leads into batch dialer so no need to add them here because you're about to do that part let's name the campaign maybe i'm planning on pushing over a pre-foreclosure list from my batch leads account and we're just going to edit that here go through your call results make sure you have the ones that you want to be displayed at the end of your calls if there's any that you don't want to have there at the end you can take those off but really that's all you need to get your first campaign created yes there are very important settings in advanced configuration but we do have it set on what we recommend already and they do make a difference a lot of these make a difference to your connection rates so be sure to check out the help center get into the community to learn more about that before changing things in there but accept the terms and conditions click save and then you have a campaign so here we are we're going to go ahead and push that over that a list from batch leads into batch dialer we'll give it a quick test call and show you how that updates your contacts now in batch leads before pulling this list just to touch on some of the really really amazing updates if you haven't been in here lately or haven't been playing around with your account first off we have a completely new look to the system so if you're still using the old version you should have a toggle allowing you to switch over to this new version. This is the only version I use now. It is allowing you to see your data in lots of different ways. It has a lot of really cool new actions just displayed for you a lot easier, optimizing your process even in that way. And things like free skip traces monthly in your plans, or depending on your plan anyway. I'll break that down in a moment. And we've also lowered the skip tracing costs significantly from 14 cents to nine cents. So even after you run out of your monthly skip trace credits that generate every single month, you still have really, really great prices for your skip traces for the same amazing superior data. We also have a lot of new filters within property search. And if you guys wanna learn more about that or see those broken down in another video here on Batch TV, let us know down in the comments. And just in general, anything that you wanna learn more about, let us know down in the comments for any of those things that come to mind. But let's go ahead and grab a list here. I'll show you how easy it is to skip trace and use your skip trace credits here. If you're in the personal basic plan, you'll have 250 free skip trace credits to use every single month. It is a use it or lose it type deal. So make sure you're using those skip traces to get free phone numbers and email addresses every single month. Then in personal plus, you have a thousand free skip traces to use per month, which is pretty amazing. That's the plan that I'm in. So I have 359 to use for the rest of the month. But I'm going to go ahead and obviously you'll want to use your filters, list stack in here, find the best quality data that you want to push over to your account. Um, I'm honestly just going to use my quick filters at the top of this screen. So we still have these, by the way, if you've been missing them where they were before, we still have them enriching and organizing your data. And I can easily pull up what's currently in pre-foreclosure within my account here just by clicking on that quick filter. So these 1700 properties are in fact right now in pre-foreclosure categorized by my account, always updating your data. So watch out for your quick filters up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select a few of these. Let's just grab this first page. Or actually, I'm gonna grab just a handful of them. Click skip trace. You do need to have the phone numbers and email addresses, but because of those free monthly skip traces, depending on your plan, won't cost you anything, which is pretty amazing. And I'm just gonna name it AZ Pre Foreclosures. 
click on skip trace it'll give you the estimated cost it will never charge you for duplicates ever which is another amazing thing about batch lead skip tracing and it will never charge you for properties that don't return info so i don't have to worry about duplicates or anything like that click on skip trace and after a few minutes you'll get your results you have to wait for those to load before pushing them over I already have these skip traced uh, from a previous example, but this is what it will look like. It'll have the phone numbers in here off to the right and the emails, and you can also click on the details to open up those phone numbers in a different way. So now that those are skip traced, we're gonna push them over to Batch Tyler. So select those, same idea. Click on actions at the top of the screen, and then click on add to Batch Tyler. Here you're going to select the campaign that you needed to have set up previously. Here's my Phoenix pre-foreclosures, or right here this pre-foreclosures AZ, let me just double check because it looks like I have a previously created one. So it's this one that I created a couple seconds ago or a couple minutes ago that I'm going to push those properties into. So pre-foreclosures AZ, I'm going to push over all the numbers, just leave those selected and click save. And after a few minutes, it'll load up into my Batch Dialer account and we can start giving them a call. So let's do an example on one of my actual contacts, show you how that updates here. Wait for that to load and reload this in my account. You can tell that your list is getting pushed over successfully when you're looking into your contact section in Batch Dialer. You can see in the contact list, anything that says auto-generated for X campaign, auto-generated is letting you know like, hey, we got this from Batch Leads. So it looks like it already uploaded successfully and we're gonna go over and start dialing that campaign. So there are those contacts, those six that I grabbed and all you have to do to start dialing, if you have all of those other things, I'm assuming the phone numbers, you know, you've pushed over the contacts and so on, you just have to click on the phone, it's at the top of the screen, anybody that has dialing permission in here. I'm using a preview dialer, so I'm gonna click on next lead it's a manual dialer the magic wand ones are the automatic dialer so if you're looking to use the power dialer you can absolutely do that when you're setting up your campaigns but just for the purpose of example it's way easier to show when it's manual so I'm gonna click on next lead and it will bring up somebody in that list that I pushed over so we'll have this information blurred out so you'll still be able to see the functionality you'll be able to see everything in your own account but I'll be able to view my script take my time there prepare for my call I will be able to see the property details so I can stay on track within that call, see if they're in pre-foreclosure. Once again, you can see that information will show there, how long it's been owned, if it's vacant or not, et cetera. When you start calling people, everything will load up in your campaigns and activities. You can leave notes and there's cool things called lead sheets in here. So a lot of things in Batch Dialer, but let's just keep this simple. I'm gonna go ahead and call this number. I'm gonna click the call button and it's been connected, but I'm gonna end it. Let's say that the contact told us that they'd appreciate if we didn't call them back again in the future. So we're gonna mark them as do not call and I'll show you how that updates the contact within batch leads. So I'm gonna go ahead and do do not call, leave my notes, leave my mood here on the call as well to categorize that even further, but let's just leave that, click done, and we're gonna go over to my batch leads account and see if that updated that for us. So here in batch leads, this was the contact that I just called. You can see that the lead status for the property has automatically changed to not interested based on my mapping and the phone number status has been marked as DNC. This way my process will be so much more optimized being able to filter out who I've already called, who wasn't interested, and who I pushed my CRM. So be sure to go take the time to make sure you have the new sync set up to make your life so much easier and less complicated as well. There's tons more you can do within both Batch Dialer and Batch Leads. So I hope that you'll drop a comment down below. Things like using your calendar in here and your task manager, connecting your CRM to Batch Dialer so you can push that along even further and so much more. So hopefully today's episode was a bit of a reminder on how small features can sometimes make a massive difference in your processes. Be sure to set that up within your Batch Leads and Batch Dialer account. Utilize your free monthly skip traces within Batch Leads depending on your plan and drop a comment down below if you have questions or want to see us break down other things here on Batch TV. As always, find a link in the description to join the community. Hit the like button if you found value in today's video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time.